let's take a look at updating the apps on your iDevice. You see in my second row, far right column, an icon for the App Store. With that icon, you see a red oval with the number 51 in it. That 51 means I have 51 apps on my iPad that need to be updated. At this point, the device doesn't care which account purchased those apps. I have several different Apple IDs on this device, and right now, this icon doesn't care who's logged in, just that there are apps that need to be updated. So I'm going to tap that, and I come to my App Store screen. Along the bottom far right, you see my updates with my 51. And here's where it's going to become concerned about who purchased what, what Apple ID purchased what. Some of these apps were purchased under one ID and some another. For example, Administrator. That's a work app. I used my work ID to purchase it. Marvel Comics. Not so much. I used my personal ID to purchase. They're not both going to update at the same time because I didn't purchase them under that Apple ID. What will happen is when I go to update one, it will ask me to log in. So Marvel Comics, because I know that is not logged in, but it's saying, hey, here's the ID that purchased that. We need permission from that Apple ID to update. Absolutely. Got to have my comic books. And now it's installing. That's one way to update your apps. If, if I had chosen an app that was already logged into this device, it wouldn't have asked me anything. It would simply have updated. In the upper left hand corner, you see update all. If I select that, it's going to go through this entire list and it's going to say, wait a minute, there's three accounts on this iPad. And it's going to ask me to log into all three of those. And then it will update all of my apps then you go get coffee because that's going to take a few minutes. Generally what I do when I have this many apps that need to be updated, I will hit select all or update all, log into the accounts, and go watch some television or go for a walk or take my dogs for a walk or whatever. Whatever is going to keep me busy doing other things that I want to do while the iPad does the work of the updating. In a nutshell, that's updating on the iPad.